So I have Pen Kid One here, who Hello. hasn't who hasn't been here for a while. But today I'm looking at we are looking at a bottle of ink that is Pen Kid One's, and for some strange reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to buy a teenager a bottle of Bay Straight Bay, <laughs> Bay State Blue Noodlers, most <laughs> infamous, highly staining ink ever and i gave it to a kid who's left-handed and gets their hand in there who is left-handed and drags their hand through anyway this explains so much so much <laughs> so anyway bay state blue it's a specialty ink from noodlers and it was designed to be extra vibrant also designed to be hard to erase essentially would be the best way it's designed to you know it's designed to protect from people forging signatures on say documents or checks but also it's like so if somebody signs with this color base street state blue on say a, a deed it's very hard to erase that signature is okay. that's the the basis of it right it's a special formulation but it's also, as a result, um, <laughs> hard to get off clothing or surfaces. Uh, if you wash your pen, it might stain the sink. You probably have to use bleach to get it off. Um, but it is a particularly attractive blue. Do you like that? I love it. Have you used this on anything? Yes. Like what? Well, like, I've mostly just like ridden with it. Mm -hmm. And once I was cleaning out one of my pens, and then I stayed in the sink with it. Ah, yeah. Did it get everywhere? Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Was it hard to get off? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. So it's Bay State Blue, and one of the funny things about this is <laughs> it comes in a large bottle with a very small opening and a and a eyedropper at the top. So it's designed almost to get everywhere. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now the interesting thing is, as you can see, it's been used, and there's a bit of a stain there. A state inks should never be mixed with other inks as they are chemically unique and will not mix with any other ink, including other noodlers' inks. Hmm. So I think we should mix this. Absolutely, we should. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to take a couple of precautions. I'm going to put this down over the nice leather. Actually, I'm just going to take just the nice just leather. Move the leather. I'm going to move the nice leather. I'm going to put a piece of cardboard down. I'm going to get a fresh piece of paper couple of q-tips so you what i take that out of your notebook or hmm? are you gonna take it out i'm of gonna your... leave it okay. there just in case it may, it may be and i'm gonna use <laughs> i'm gonna take some <laughs> tiananmen uh noodlers tiananmen uh ink which is a nice vibrant red and i'm gonna who's got the gloves i've got gloves so yeah so i'm gonna just put that there and, and this color itself is hard to get off things i find you know, I'm going to get that in the way. So, yeah, so that's. Oh, it's so pretty. It is a very it, nice. It looks like blood, though. It does. And I think that's actually <laughs> what it's meant to look like. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of Bay State Blue and I'm going to drop it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was weird. Kind of almost doesn't really seem anyway it's hard to tell when you look at it here but huh, what's it going on it's like oil and water kind of a little bit hmm. just gonna set that there so what's going on let's see how that dries does it mix am i actually making a chemical oh it gets all kind of it's almost congealing that if you were to mix it in a pen would would clog the pen immediately i think yeah it's almost yeah there's something weird going on it's almost getting thicker and if you were to put that in a pen like mix mix those colors in a pen it would immediately clog the pen that's what i'm seeing it's all me. thick it's kind of bubbly look dad <laughs> <laughs> there are little bubbles happening oh that's not good okay so that's <laughs> so that's an experiment that i'm gonna let that dry and see what happens if it dries just gonna set that over there 
So I did a little color swatch and I'm going to use, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to bleach this after using it. Um, because <laughs> it's notorious for staining everything. Right. All right. So, oh, don't, no, don't touch. No, okay. <laughs> now, okay. You're going to have to. Uh, this is gonna stay on my finger for a while. Don't, don't touch anything now, please. Okay. You just put it on your. Uh, like, yes, I did. Okay, there's a paper towel there, please. So, first reason ever to give a teenager <laughs> a bottle of Bay State Blue is they'll go, "Oh, it stains. Let's see." Uh, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, teenagers are impulsive, you know. Yeah. It's an experiment. I'm gonna see how long it stays on my finger. Bay. State blue. And it's beautiful blue. It was designed almost to be extra vibrant, right? Can I write with it? Uh, take a piece of paper there and just write with that. Just open that one up and just set it. Well, do it in, over here so you can see. There you go. Now you're left handed, though. Yes. And I can't really see what you're doing. I always wanted yeah. to write one of these. Heart. These are hard to write with, but how do you see? I don't know what to do now. So don't drag your hand through it. I'm trying not to. Oh, no, you're doing that, aren't you? No. Let's okay. See? see, that's cool. Oh, that worked out okay. All right, These so. Are hard to write with. I'm just gonna. Oops. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that could have been a disaster. Just gonna... Actually, I was kind of... the reason I'm using. Oh. Well, Hmm. Yeah. You can see that it sort of stained the pen a bit blue. Which is not surprising. It's kind of pretty. It kind of matches the aesthetic then. Yeah, I'll have to. I will clean that up with a bit of bleach after. Well, then we'll just set that over there out of the way. That looks like, like Gatorade. What? It looks like Gatorade. Looks like Gator. Well, it does actually, and it's still not drying on the other one. <clears throat> Isn't that interesting? Look at that. That's all sort of a congealed mess. And it, it really has sort of thickened up. Actually, the next thing I'm going to do, watch, is take this again. Take the you. So you hold that for a second. This? No, no. Hold it by the by the bulb. Okay. I'm gonna put a cap on. Don't squeeze that yet. Okay. We're gonna drop it into the water, even though it's a little blue right now. We're gonna drop some basic blue and cinnamon in there at the same time. I don't know if anything will really happen. Uh, okay, ready? One, two, three. Anything going on? Hmm. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, look, they're like still separate. What? It's still kind of separate. They're still separate? Hmm. Did it know. sink? Ooh. Well, it's warm water. <laughs> That's why it's steaming, so it's not It's not the chemical. <laughs> it's hard to tell what went on there. Nothing really. It seemed to have blended, but I would not put that in a pen. Like you just poke it and then like... Hmm? I just like that in. Oh, the red is at the bottom, Dad. The red's at the bottom? Yes. Eh, I don't know what's going on. They do, they do seem to be... I wonder if I set, left that sitting there for a little while. It's hard to tell what'll go on. Um, I was just going to see if, by dampening that, if I can... That off. Mostly what's happening there is rather the ink itself. It is lifting it. It's not perfectly uh, what you'd call, say, 100% waterproof, but it's so, it stains so much that it would, if you were trying to erase somebody's signature, you would know that something was going on, right? And you would still see the blue and you'd probably still see. Would it work with white out? Well, that no, that would, people would realize that you whited out something and wrote oh, yeah. over it, right? That's a good point. What, it's de, it's designed to keep, uh, prevent erasure of uh, 
essentially a signature or something like that. Not an ink I would use for everyday writing. This is an ink I've been using for everyday writing. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay. that's with varying levels of success. Do you use it in one pen? Yeah. Yeah, just use it in one pen. It's highly recommended not to use this in a, say, like a, a very valuable pen. So if you had like a... No, it's like, okay, you know, the one that's like uh, BK2 got me for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Like the, the one that broke, like the, the little clip thing came off. Oh, okay, yeah. Like the, this the tacky one that was right. like free or something. Oh, yes, the Charlie, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like it's designed... Actually, I think it came with the pen, didn't it? Yeah, it it kind right? of the, clogged the, it up a bit. The Charlie? Yeah, it clogged it up? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so it came with a Noodler's Charlie in that large bottle. And it clogged up the Charlie? Yeah. Or did you just not clean the Charlie? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't used it in a while. You haven't used it in a while. Okay. But yeah, I wouldn't say put this in one of my more expensive pens. Yeah. I would find a, you know, a... a, 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 a if you're going to use it, use it in a pen that you're not going to put other inks in. So if you had like a Lamy Safari or, you know, even a Twisby and you just wanted to use this in it, I would just use that. I wouldn't put it in, say, like a Pilot Custom 74 or Century 3776 or something really expensive, you know, or something that has sentimental value because you, or something that you want to try other inks in because you will. You're picking, you're putting ink on yourself. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, Fair this team. one doesn't stain at all. Please. And that still hasn't dried. Can I poke it? What? No, you can't okay. poke it. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of congealed. Oh, it's, gonna... it's like really thick. Yeah, that's because it's not reacting chemically. So uh, yeah, if you put that in a pen, it would totally ruin Break the pen. Break it. And it's yeah, it's very gluggy. Yeah. So anyway, that's us messing around with a ink that you, I should never have given to a teenager. Woo! Yay! Three seven. PK two gave it to me. It's Bay State blue. It's actually a very pretty blue, and if you know, if you're careful with it, um, and use it in, in a, a, a a designated pen only for it, you would have very good success with it. It's a very pretty, intense blue. Stop touching the ink <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway we're gonna have to you're gonna have to not touch anything okay. actually you know what probably since we opened this ink somewhere downstairs there's a stain of this already yes it's on my desk on your desk and on one of my uh, clothes on your clothes and on my bathrobe yeah and on some of pajamas it's on your bathrobe is that what was on your bathroom <laughs> <Okay. laughs> anyway Hope you have a great day, and if you like this video, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. It's in a science room. I'm going to see which one stays on longer.